let us see about the different types of chopper we have seen about chopper in the previous video thyristors are used in choppers basically thyristors are unidirectional devices it means that it carries current in the one direction only this is the voltage current plane there are four quadrants one this is second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant a chopper can be made to operate in all the four quadrants by changing the position of the switches so this is first quadrant where voltage and current both should be positive and if the current is negative and voltage is positive it will be in second quadrant so this is third quadrant where both voltage and current are negative and in fourth quadrant voltage alone will be negative while current will be positive so you can change the switch position to make the chopper operate in any of the four quadrants or you can use um, a different number of switches to make the one chopper to operate in all the four quadrants let us see about the different types of chopper there are basically five types of chopper first one is the type a or first quadrant chopper which operates in the first quadrant next is type b chopper which operates in second quadrant and type c chopper can operate in both first and second quadrant and type d chopper can operate in first and fourth quadrant and type e chopper can operate in all the four quadrants so we will see the operation of each and every chopper the first one is the type a or first quadrant chopper so in first quadrant both voltage and current should be positive so this is the circuit which we have seen earlier it is basically a step down chopper which gives a positive and uh, positive voltage and current at the output so when this uh, switch is on so we know when the switch is on current flows through this path so load voltage is positive and the current through the load is also in positive direction both v not and i not are positive in this case when the switch is off the current free wheels through the diode so in this case output voltage will be zero but i not remains in the same direction that is positive so in both the cases voltage is either positive or zero and i not is positive in both the cases so this chopper is said to be a first quadrant chopper or we can call it as a type a chopper next is type b or second quadrant chopper in second quadrant the voltage is positive whereas the current is negative it means that if current is to be negative current should flow out of the load so it flows from the load to the source so if current has to be flow from load to source load must have some energy source like a battery or a back emf so connect a battery or a back emf here so that this load can supply um, current to the source so current flows out of the load that is the important criteria for second quadrant chopper so let us see this operation so when the uh, switch is on the inductor stores the energy so when switch is on inductor stores the energy and we can see that the current flows out of the load so in this case it is a short so output voltage is zero and i not is negative so you got a second quadrant operation here now when the switch is off what happens the stored energy in the ductance and this um, 
battery will drive the current to the source so this uh, d2 is on and voltage is positive because this end is connected here so voltage is positive and i naught is negative because current is flowing out of the load and this e plus vl gets added to give you the v naught it means that um, v naught is greater than the supply voltage so this is basically a step up chopper so power flows from load to source so let us see about the type c or two quadrant type a chopper which operates in first and second quadrant so voltage is positive but current can be positive or negative so in this case uh, type a and type b chopper are connected in parallel so uh, chopper 1 free wheeling diode forms the type a chopper and chopper 2 and diode d2 forms the type b chopper and they have a common load for first quadrant operation uh, chopper uh, 1 and freewheeling diode are used so this chopper 1 is turned on and off to get the first quadrant operation so in first quadrant both voltage and current are positive so when chan, uh, chopper 1 is on current flows through the chopper load and to the return to the supply so in this case we can see that this plus is connected here so output voltage is positive and current flows in this direction it means that i naught is positive when this chopper is turned off so the current uh, because the current through a inductance cannot change its polarity immediately that is the current through it cannot change its direction immediately so it always flows in the same direction so this freewheeling diode carries the load current so since uh, load current free wheels output voltage is zero but current is in same direction so i naught is positive so this is first quadrant operation the second quadrant operation of the chopper so in second quadrant i naught should be negative so when this ch2 is turned on the current flows in this way so that the uh, current is negative and when it is turned off when the switch is uh, turned off removed you can see that the uh, current through the inductor cannot change its direction immediately so it starts to flow through this diode and it uh, it returns to supply so i naught is my negative in this case and voltage is positive because it will be connected here so it is positive so you can achieve both first and second quadrant operation by changing the uh, operating condition of the switches so this uh, type c or uh, two uh, two quadrant type a chopper we can see that for, for first quadrant operation chopper 1 and freewheeling diode is used for second quadrant operation chopper 2 and t2 are used but it should be ensured that both the choppers are turned on at the same time you cannot turn on at the same time because it will short the supply voltage and this type of uh, choppers are used for motoring and regenerative braking of dc motor if you want to um, that is push something up as well as down or you want to reverse the direction you can use this type of chopper so the next is type d chopper this chopper can operate in two quadrants first and fourth quadrant so voltage can be positive or negative whereas the current is always positive meaning that current always flows from a to b in one direction only when the switches uh, ch1 and 2 are on the load voltage is um, connected to positive and this end is connected to negative so v not equal to vs and current flows in this direction which is considered to be the positive direction when uh, this switches are turned off current flows through the diode 
So this uh, load part is connected to the negative of the supply. So V0 is equal to minus. Whereas the current direction remains the same. So four quadrant operation is achieved because current remains the same in both the cases. Whereas load voltage changes between positive and negative. But how to determine whether the average voltage is positive or negative? So this is the output voltage. It will be equal to plus Vs for turn on period of the switch and for a turn off period or the diode conduction period it will be equal to minus Vs. So if T on is greater than Tf, V average is positive and if T off is greater, V average will be negative. Next we will see about type P chopper or four quadrant chopper that is this chopper can operate in all the four quadrants that is voltage can be positive or negative current can also be positive or negative. First quadrant operation of type P chopper here um, CH4 is turned on so on and CH1 is turned on and off. So initially when this CH1 is on, current flows in this direction which is a positive direction. So I0 is positive, voltage is also connected to plus here. So it is positive. When this switch is turned off, one switch one is turned off. Now the current through the load cannot change its direction immediately. So it continues to flow in the same direction and it free wheels through diode D2. So I0 is positive in this case and voltage is 0 because free wheeling period voltage will be 0. And the second case, second quadrant operation where I0 should be negative. So here this chopper G CH2 is turned on and off to achieve this operation. So here in this case CH2 is on. So when CH2 is on the current flows like this because this is a unidirectional device current can flow only in this direction. So current flows in this way through diode D4 actually it free wheels. Now when this switch is turned off again inductor current cannot become zero immediately or reverse its direction immediately. So it tries to flow through the diode D1 to the supply voltage. So here also current is negative but voltage is positive. It is connected to positive supply. Next third quadrant operation both voltage and current should be negative. So here this switch CH2 is always kept on whereas CH3 will be turned on and off. So this is actually exact reverse of first quadrant operation. So in first quadrant operation 1 and 4 will be used here switches 2 and 3 will be used. Okay. So in this case current direction is opposite. It flows from B to A so it is negative. Voltage is also connected in opposite direction so it is negative. <coughs> now when this um, switch is off CH3 is turned off it is off current continues to flow through the diode D4 that is it free wheels through diode D4 so current is always in reverse direction that is B to A and voltage is 0 so net power flow is from load to source so you will get third quadrant operation so next is fourth quadrant operation where here uh, this uh, CH4 is turned on and off in second quadrant CH2 is will be turned on off whereas in fourth quadrant CH4 is turned on and off. So when it is on the current flows in this way current direction is from A to B so current is positive 
but this is a freewheeling period so output voltage is zero so when you turn off this switch ch4 current cannot reverse its direction so current continues to flow in the same way and it flows to the source now you can see plus is connected to b so voltage is negative the points to remember here are if you remember this chart you can write the types of um, four quadrant operation of the chopper easily you can see here one and three quadrant have some similarity similarly two and three have some similarity what is that you see here this is motoring operation this is braking operation so here ch4 and ch1 is on that is 4 and 1 are or here 2 and 3 will be on so here 4 is on in both cases 2 is on in both cases okay so similarly 2 and fourth quadrant if you see here only one switch is on here also only one switch will be on here 2 is on here 4 is on so this 2 2 common here 4 and 4 are common so if you need the study material for this you can visit this website and if you like the video do subscribe to our read electric vehicle channel thank you